Hello and welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now, um, today I'm going to show you how to wrap up some of these mugs. Different ideas, some for children, some for adults. Um, but we'll start off with the kids idea. Now, this mug here I bought from Home Bargains and I think it was about 79 pence um, or around about a pound. It wasn't it wasn't too much um, in any case. So it's a little elf mug. And what I'm going to do is put that together and just show you how you can wrap it up for maybe Christmas Eve um, for the kids. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna put some tissue paper in the bottom. Now I haven't got any green tissue paper and I wanted to pull out the green from the elf. So I'm going to just mix together a bit of blue and a bit of yellow just to make it look greenish. Okay, so just pop a little bit in there. Now in this, this um, mug, I am going to put in it, um, you can put anything in it, so you don't have to do the same as me some um, reindeer hot chocolate and we've just done, made that up ourselves with some um, hot chocolate and some little marshmallows in a little um, bag and also we're going to use one of these little hessian sacks that we did in a different video with some chockies inside as well so this is going to be a little treat possibly for christmas eve but you can do it for any time so we're just going to stick the hot chocolate in the back and then pop the little bag in as well and you can just arrange it however you want you can make that sort of go down a little bit so you can sort of see that behind it and then we're going to get some wrap now you can use plain wrap you can use patterned wrap you can use anything you want um i think i'm going to use because it's for children i'm going to use my patterned wrap because i think the kids would like that so what i'm going to do is cut a piece off i'll throw my scissors everywhere cut a piece off now, I haven't got any green curling ribbon, but um, I have got a green bow. So what I will use is white because I think that will go quite nicely with that. So I'm just going to get myself a little bit of curling ribbon, snip that off, pop your little mug in the middle like that. And just the same as we've done in the other videos, we're just going to pull it up. And wrap it up okay so um, if you've got a few grandkids then you don't have to um, you know you don't have to put everything in that I've said you can get the mugs and um, maybe make up some hot chocolate or something or stick a little chocky in um, you know you can get those packs of Santa's or I'll show you in a second when I've wrapped this if I've got one on the shelf you could just stick one of those in so it doesn't have to be expensive look one of these little smarty things you could pop one of those in so just do that tie it again i'm not going to curl this because i'm going to stick on um quite a big green bow i bought these bows from poundland and the green one will be ideal for the elf color so if you want to stick a tag on pop a tag on now um, before you stick your bow on and then just put your bow on the top like that and if I just bring the camera back slightly you can see that you've got your little elfy mug got your goodies inside and then your little bow at the top so that's another idea for Christmas Eve that you can do with the kids um, as I say those mugs were from um, Home Bargains um, now I'm going to show you some ideas with the other mugs from Home Bargain. Right, now we're going to use, I don't know if you remember in a previous video, we bought these from um, B&M. So what we're going to do is split this packet up because you get nine in this packet for £3.99. So these are, this is a hot chocolate selection. So I think there was um, a coffee one as well. Um, I did buy these last year, so um, I'm quite pleased that they have them in again. So just open the box up and um, pick your selection. Now, um, these mugs here at the back, I don't know if you can see them, these I bought from Home Bargains. I did have them in um, a video and I absolutely love them. I've used them myself and they are such, they make such a nice um, mug to have a drink. So I went back and I bought one of each. Now they are just over a pound each, I think, maybe 129, but I can't remember exactly. Um, and I thought they'd be ideal for, for what I want to do next. So something for the adults, something for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Maybe you do little presents for 
um, you know, your family and you want to give them something. So that's what this idea is for. Um, now, you don't have to use hot chocolate if you don't like hot chocolate. And I'll show you um, another little idea you can do as well if you don't like hot chocolate. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the red one. And I'm going to use a bit of the trusty old tissue paper from Poundland. I know a few of you have mentioned you've been into Poundland to buy the tissue paper. So that's fab. Now, if you look at this colour scheme, this can be used for any time of year. This is not just Christmas. It makes it Christmassy by what we're going to do to it now. So don't feel that it's just limited to Christmas because it's not. So in the pack, you get your hot chocolate, you get your normal hot chocolate, your caramel. Um, this one here is the original hot chocolate and that's red. So I'm going to pull that one out and I'm going to stick that in the top of the cup. Now, be careful because this box has marshmallows in it, not hot chocolate. So... Um, Make sure you mix, you mix and match things well. So there's our hot chocolate and that's in the top. And all I'm going to do to that is wrap it in um, a slightly different way. But it's just giving you other ideas. Now, this is like an organza wrap. It's an organza roll. So it's just a little bit different from using um, tissue paper. But it, again, it's another way to wrap things. And you just snip up exactly the same way and pop your mug in the middle but as you can see it's more material like than it than the tissue paper so you just pull up the sides and kind of scrunchy it round like that now I'm just going to pause it for one second to get some string here we go I'm back I've got my red curling ribbon Snip a little bit off, and then I'm going to go around the top like that. Now, people can use this organza again, they don't have to throw it away. But this is again more on the adult side. Um, you can use this for kids, it's not a problem. You can use it for children. <clears throat> now, you could leave it like that if you wanted to, you could go over it because it's with Christmas with the Christmas cello wrap. But because the mug's patterned, I'm just going over the side of the craft room, I am going to use plain cello wrap because the pattern's, the mug's patterned and I want to kind of see the pattern through it. So I'm just going to unroll myself a piece of the cello wrap from the roll and snip, there we go, snip a piece off. Now here, I want that cutting short because I don't want me to Sort of the curling um, ribbon to be at that part I'll show you why because we're going to bring this up over the top so you get your curling so you get your cellar wrap get yourself a bit of curling ribbon it's always best to get the curling ribbon ready just in case because otherwise you kind of need about 10 pairs of hands and this curly ribbon's decided to get all stuck, so we'll just kind of untangle that a little bit. So snip off a little bit and then pull this up. Okay. Try not to get my arm in the way. All right, then we just bring it together in exactly the same way in the middle. Can you see? Sorry, my arm is really in the way. I can't do anything but I'm sorry right so pull that round there and then pull that tight there now I'm going to leave these bits on because um I kind of want those to look like that I'm just going to pull the camera up slightly if we can do that while you're still there without making it jolt too much just so you can see what I'm doing a bit better so as you can see the top part looks um, kind of all right really we'll just kind of eke it out a little bit and just make it stand up quite nice up there now um, what you can also do I don't think I have any on me but you've probably seen them in the shops you know the little butterflies that you can get the little clip on butterflies they look really nice to clip on on things like that so if you have got any clip on butterflies you can stick one of those on as well so I'm going to use a, another one of these little gift bows from Poundland and I'm going to curl this but this time I'm going to put myself a tag on 
All right, so I'll pop the tag on before I stick my bow on. So I've got some nice little tags here. I think these were from, where were they from? I think I bought them last year in the sale from maybe, um, I think it was called Discount UK then, but it's changed to Pound World Plus now. Um, they've changed their name about a million times, I think. So just pull out one of these little, this is how the little taggy things come. But you don't have to use those if you don't want to. You can actually um, just use any kind of ribbon or curling ribbon. You don't have to use what they give you. So you just get your what's set, poke it through, and then loop that through there, and that holds it on. Um, so let's just tie this round. Let's see if that'll reach. I'm going to tie this off camera because my arm's in the way. Bear with me a sec. There we go. I've tied it on now. And I'm just going to get the bow that was on the Poundland pack. These are quite nice size bows. They're a bit sort of oversized, so I think they make them look a bit more special. And then all you have to do is stick that bit on there. And that is that little mug set done. So maybe um, a fiancé, a partner. Um, if you've got any grown-up children... That's also good. So they're great for those. So you've got one for kind of the younger kids and then you've got one for the older kids there. Now, if you've got people that maybe don't drink hot chocolate, you can use, you know, those little sachets that you can buy from the shop with coffee in, cappuccino or something like that. You could pop one of those in so you don't have to stick to the traditional hot chocolate. You can mix and match in, in you know, what you want. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how um, I make one with a tea bag. So now I'm going to show you how I make um, something using um, tea, so a tea option. Now this packet I'm going to use, this paper pack, is called Floral Happiness. And I bought it from the works, but it was um, a couple of months ago now. So I'm not sure if they, if they do still have it. But um, let me just show you this. How beautiful does that look? Those cups of tea. So... Um, We'll be using some bits out of that, but you don't have to do it exactly the same as this. This is just how I'm I'm doing it to give you some ideas, really. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little envelope, okay? And this envelope is going to hold um, a tea bag, and then we're going to pop the tea bag um, in the envelope into the mug and do it that way. So let me show you how I do it. Right, the um, the six by six paper that you can get is is quite good for this because that's around about the size of the um, envelope that I'm going to be making so um, I really wanted to use this paper um, so you know where's my paper trimmer gone I wanted to use this paper so that's why I'm cutting it down but if you've got any six by six paper pads then they're always good to use so just um, score it down to six inches if you haven't got any six by six paper what you can do if you've got some paper pads then um you could practice so if you've got any designs that you're not loving um but you don't want to sort of throw them away and you don't want to waste them um then this is something good for you to use them for to practice um oops, just dropping that so let me get this now my craft room is very upside down for me i don't like it like this at all um I do like to be quite organised, but we've been trying to sort out some bits in the house at the moment. So unfortunately, everything's got landed down here on my craft stuff. So I've got some six by six paper here. And what I'm going to do um, is just grab one piece. And this is a little envelope maker that you can buy. I bought mine from Amazon. Um, it took me a little while to get used to it. And I still think I do it wrong sometimes. Um, so... They, it comes with quite good instructions and um, all I do um, is make myself a little envelope. Okay, so you go that round. Now I will do a tutorial for this um, at one time. So I'm just going to fold that over. like this just 
call that side, I don't know. Okay. Now I wanted the envelope to be quite long. So what I'm going to do is just cut that piece off around about there. There we go. Can you see? And then you just get some of your double-sided tape or if you've got a little glue runner just tape that down if that's working oh hang on I've forgotten something we need to cut these corners out sorry I'm rushing ahead of myself here my mind's on something else I'm afraid well, the next 101 jobs I've got to do All right so you just cut these corner bits out but don't worry if you um if you didn't get how to make these, because I will do a proper um, envelope tutorial, because this is a funny size one that I've done here. So I wanted it quite long to fit in the um, in the mug. There we go. So you just use your tape to go up like that, and again on the other side, and we're just going to stick stick the envelope down. Now, what I'm going to do, because I'm doing it um, for tea, I'm going to pop a tea bag. Let's move that out of the way. Pop a little tea bag inside. And then I'm just going to snip that off like that. So as you can see, I wanted it to be quite long. So it sort of sticks out a little bit. So I'm just going to pop my tea bag inside like that and then I'm just going to stick that down and I think I might use this little tiny bit of washi snip the end bit off there this um, I bought from Aliexpress it's got like little goldy roses through it it's really quite pretty and I thought that matched with the um, the roses okay so that's our little um, our little pouch so what I'm going to do is get some white tissue paper, scrunch that up, and then pop that down the back, so it sort of sticks up out the back. And then in the front, um, you can fill it with the person you're giving it to's favourite chocolates. Now, um, we obviously you did sort of quite a few videos with the... Um, lint chocolate um that always goes down very well but it just depends you know what the sort that the recipient likes best really um and again we are making this a christmas present it doesn't have to be christmasy it could be you know it, it could be anything really so what i'm going to do is put a few of the the lint chocolates in there and although it's for an adult i think they might like a little chocolate santa um and just fill it with bits like that so I just got interrupted then and um, Courtney bathed the dogs. So we just had a soaking wet pug in here and also the, um, the Shih Tzu as well. So they're absolutely drenched. But the pug loves a bath. She is absolutely bonkers. She really is bonkers. Um, what I have done though is I've put a few more of these little linty chocolates in, more of the little lint chocolates. And also I found this little teddy and I thought that actually went really quite sweet in there. So that's what I'm going to put in that one. And I'm just going to wrap this again in exactly the same way that we did before. So um, I'll just do that now. And I'll use my um, white wrap and sort of curl it round. Um, so it's been, let me just tell you about my day so far. It's been absolutely hectic today, sorting lots of bits out. Um, last night, Phoebe lost her very first tooth. So that was quite exciting. And the tooth fairy came last night. So... Um, we had a happy little girl this morning and her other bottom one that's right next to it is wobbly as well. So it seems that the tooth fairy will be calling again very, very shortly. Maybe maybe tomorrow or the day after. So but she was very proud of herself. Just showing off her little gap in her teeth at the minute. And uh, So I've been rushing around trying to get some jobs sorted today. And of course we're going to get the new little pooch tonight so um just been trying to get organized but i wanted to get these videos on for you guys just just so you can so you know i haven't forgotten you really because <laughs> uh, 
I appreciate you all very much. I have to make time for you guys too. Um, so back to what we're doing in hand. We've got the season greetings. We could stick that on there. Another thing that you could do is thread it through. If you didn't want to use the little tags that come with it, you can actually just thread it through like that. And then maybe just wrap that round like that. And that just that's just an easy way to do it as well because i'm going to cut these little ribbony bits off so it's not going to matter too much now i am going to be going out at some point very shortly to do the shop with me video there's a couple of shops that i want to go to um so look out for them but i haven't forgotten that you all like coming around the shops with me so do bear with me i'm doing my best here we're going to stick one of the greens on because it's green it on like that and there we have another kind of grown-up one but again teens can use it now if you've got a boy and they prefer sort of different designs you can do exactly the same thing but just in um, with a different mug different fillings so have a look around and see what your what your young people or your husband or partner the design that they like you don't have to of course use this design so i just pick these up because i like them and um you know i just wanted to show you you these really so these can be secret santa presents um for your work colleagues they can be raffle prizes um they don't have to just be for christmas eve they can be normal presents um they can be presents to go along with something else um, but it's always great if you get yourself a mug it's great to, to dress it up and put something else with it so thanks for watching guys i'm just going to clear this away and then i'm going to get ready to film my next video so thanks for watching i'll see you all again soon bye for now